moving up a weight class, 46 kilograms. Ryan Murphy, Valerie Solario. Solario in the blue, Murphy in the red. Semi-final action here at U17 Nationals. Head to the inside shot by Murphy. Coming up the back door. In the splits position, there is Sol Solario. Good defensive position, but look at this, stepping around. Has her hand caught in the singlet, so we'll see, see what happens here. They're just gonna call that back to the feet, so no score from that position. 28 seconds down, 1.30 to go now. And there's a shot from space, but stuffed down by Solario. She's got that front headlock. We'll see if she can spin behind, but you see right there with Murphy, she has that, that tricep, that elbow locked right now, so that's preventing Solario from spinning behind like she wanted to. They're gonna call him back to the feet. Halfway through this two minute period. U17 matches are four minutes in length, two two minute periods, unlike U20 and U23 where it's two three minute periods. So as expected, the matches go quite a bit quicker, taking two minutes off the total time certainly makes a difference in the pace of the match. So you have to get in your offense quick. Solario has that, that underhook and they're gonna go out of bounds and there's the first point on the board. Solario scores on that step out. So they're gonna come back to the center. Solario has a one to zero lead. The shot by Murphy, stuffed again by Solario. She has the front headlock, but again, you just see that, that situation where she, she has that tricep locked and unable to score from that position back in space. Two on one by Solario, near the out of bounds. That's how she scored last time. See if she can counter this. And what are they gonna call here? They're gonna call a two point takedown for Murphy. So looking to the corner here, I'm guessing they might challenge. And let's see what they call here. So they are going to convene about the situation. Right now it's two to zero on the scoreboard. So they were calling that a step out for Solario. So the situation right now is they've given a step out for Solario. So they're saying even though there was a, a headlock in that situation. So not quite sure. <laughs> so the red corner is gonna challenge this. So this is gonna be interesting to see what they find. Not sure how it could be four to zero at this point. So right now on the scoreboard, it says four to zero.
on blue, head hits out first on red. And the bar goes back, which, yep, they get the break back. I got it. They're gonna take away the takedown and just call one blue for the step out. So the score does change. It's gonna come back down to three to zero. Solario has the three to zero lead. Time is gonna run out. There's a shot by Murphy. Time is gonna run out. So that's the end of the first period. They'll take a 30 second break, convene, strategize, and we'll see what happens as they come back for the second period. Being down three to zero, certainly doable for Murphy, but she <laughs> really has to get on her offense at this point. Being a two minute period, not much time to execute. And they're gonna come back to the center, three to zero lead for Solario. And we're underway. Murphy tries that head to the inside shot, but nice job of stuffing it by Solaria. She's back to it. We'll see if she can get off her knees, be able to bring up the leg. She's in on that single, but just nice defense. You see right around the leg by Solario just being able to stymie that position. And so they're back to their feet. See if Murphy can get back to her offense. She had a couple nice shots there. There it is, head to the inside. But again, Solario able to stuff the head, coming around, she has that arm and elbow. See if she can come around, get a go behind. And can she hook the leg, pop her head out, and she's gonna score two more points. So that extends her lead five to zero, halfway to a technical superiority. If Murphy is unable to score, she just is able to keep rolling. We haven't seen anything from Parterre yet. And they're gonna bring it back to the feet. 54 seconds to go, second period. Valerie Solario taking command in this match. Gets poked a little bit there. She calls for the injury time. Got poked in the eye. It's never fun. Not sure what could happen at this point. Looks like she wants a trainer, not sure what, not sure what the trainer could do in this situation. So we're gonna wait on a trainer and see what transpires after this.
looks like we're back underway. Everything's patched up, 43 seconds to go in the second period. Murphy has her work cut out for her, tries to get a headlock here, not sure she has the arm, she does have the arm there. Steps over near the edge of the mat. Solerio tries to sneak out the back door, they're gonna call neutral, they're calling that grounded. So no points scored, still five to zero. 27 seconds to go in this second and final period. There's a body lock coming around. We'll see if she can just get a throw, doesn't, unable to, just takes her down to the ground. The safe route just gets the two points. Kind of looking for a five point throw there, which would have been cool, but extends her lead seven to zero. That's gonna do it here. Valerie Solario is your winner. She moves on to the best 